Biden says for years, too little has been done on fentanyl. Um, Joe? And we know Joe's not there anymore, but we so his surrogates obviously disseminated this to the New York Post in his name, where he is saying, for years, too little has been done on fentanyl. Now, let me just ask everybody in the chat and everybody watching, what has Joe Biden done to stem the tide of fentanyl into this country? Can anybody name one thing? <laughs> um, so, so he says, for years, nothing has been done. See, this is the same jargon that they use all the time, the approved political left-hard jargon, sometimes used by the right also, but not the real right, the fake rhino right, that, you know what, this is a long-standing problem. This is a generational problem. You know, this is, you know, we need, we need comprehensive border reform. No, you don't need any. There's no border reform that's needed. The border is closed as soon as you close it. What reform is needed? Same thing here. We need to comprehend. Nobody has been able to solve the border. Nobody's had the guts to, to, to solve the border, which is simply to close the border because they're afraid of the ramifications of closing the border. You'll be called this name or that name. You'll be called xenophobic, racist, whatever it may be. Even though there's 169 different countries have crossed the border illegally under the Biden administration. So just imagine having either the incoherence or the audacity to come out and say, for years, too little has been done to stem the, the tide of fentanyl into our country when you yourself have been at the helm of stemming that tide for three years and eight months and you've done absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, the, the price of fentanyl has fallen to about 25 20 of uh, 25 cents a dose in America. Where it used to be before Biden took over, it's like $25 or something along those lines a dose. Now it's 25 cents a dose because it's proliferated so much in this country. There's so much of it that the, the actual cost has gone down. Maybe the Biden administration should actually look at, look at the economics of fentanyl and maybe they'll figure out the economics inside the United States of America. After more than 250,000 Americans die on his watch, that's what he says. For years, too little has been done on fentanyl. Uh, yeah, really, Joe? And look at the non-specifics of that statement. For two, for years, too little has been done on fentanyl. What does that mean, Joe? All you got to do to stop the flow of fentanyl in this country is close the border. North and south, close the border. It's basically manufactured. Elements of it are manufactured inside of China. It's purposely sent to America to kill Americans. So basically, think about this. We've had somewhere between 100 and 200,000 Chinese soldiers, oops, I mean Chinese um, citizens cross the, cross the southern border, all military-aged men. And of those, so we've lost 250,000 Americans who have been replaced by Chinese soldiers. Just think of it that way. Too little has been done. Imagine having the incoherence and the audacity to put out a statement like that when you are in charge and you yourself have done absolutely nothing. But it is the perfect embodiment of the body politic inside the United States of America.